It's the NBA. Welcome to our Sunday night broadcast here on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and two Hall of Famers. Doris Burke here at the table and on the sideline, David Aldridge. Looking at that last game for the Los Angeles Clippers, it was a win against Chicago. And guys, it could have gone either way. Nearly won that one by two. Yeah, in that game, I, I thought they took advantage of some sloppy play, but give them credit. They turned mistakes in the points. Well, you have to capitalize when your opponent has miscues and give this team some credit. Every time that opponent turned it over, they capitalized. Now the starting group for the visitors. Bird out there with Malone. Then it's Robinson. Then there's John Stockton. And it's Jordan in at the two. And Doris, when you think of players that can turn it on for the playoffs, Kawhi Leonard certainly one of them. I think Kawhi, because of his history as an NBA champion, understands how different the playoffs are. There's a different level of physicality, a different level of pressure, and you have to be able to rise and meet that moment. And boy, Kawhi has. Outside Leonard. The putback. Robinson pulls it in. Jordan against Leonard. Outside Jordan. And there's the pass to Stockton. Inside. Robinson down low. Jackson on him. Robinson, that's good. I love watching Robinson work there in the paint. Possesses that strength and touch around the basket. Jackson passes to George. Los Angeles with another miss. And in the first, a little over a minute and a half in. Stopped it against Ibaka. A floater, and it's sent back by George. How about the timing from Paul George on that rejection? Twice on the pipes. To the left side wing. Outside Leonard. Just five on the clock. Well, conversions have been a problem. 0 for 4. Here's Jordan. And it's off the back rim. No good. Leonard looking over the floor. Yeah, trying to get going here, but that's an offer for the first five here to start the game. Three-pointer, Stockton. Here's Robinson. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting three throws here. Serge Ibaka picks one up there. Yeah, and Robinson is a franchise-defining talent, a, a chiseled, powerful center, a remarkable leader. And for teams already exceeding expectations, Greg, their spirits are running sky high right now. And it's such a great feeling to come out strong, but, but it's hard to maintain that consistency. The teams that do, they believe in themselves and they keep playing to their strength. And the first one drops. Robinson hits them both. And the Clippers decide to take their first time out here. Trying to snap them out of this little slump. Just feels like the basket is looking awfully small to them right now. They're having a hard time getting anything to fall.
taking a look here at some of the numbers for Kawhi Leonard. And here in the first, approaching three minutes played. Trying to end the drought. Malone with the rebound. And he's really trying to get them back into it, but the results just have not been there. Three-pointer, Stockton, good. And it's Bird picking up the assist. And he likes to get in a rhythm early. Nice triple. Clippers trail by nine. Let's go down to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, I had a chance to talk with the head coach for the visiting team. And as we were talking about Kawhi Leonard, his defense was the first thing that came up. Coach told me that while Kawhi may not be the individual defensive powerhouse he once was, they're still not going to challenge him more than they need to. Negating Kawhi's presence at that end of the floor is much easier said than done. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. Here's George following the basket by Larry Bird. And George kicks to Leonard. Outside Jackson. And again, it's the Clippers missing. Well, they can tack out a few more points onto this run. Yeah, it is starting to become a big one. Here's Bird. It doesn't go for him. So Los Angeles will take it the other way. Jackson looking around. Passes it to Leonard. Ibaka with the ball. He's covered by Stockton. Shots good by Ibaka. Boy, that open look was set up by Kawhi Leonard. That's probably the most underrated aspect of his game. Malone. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Yeah. We're seeing some fireworks from them already. Well, what I love is the game plan has been solid from the opening tip. And guys are making their shots. That's critical. Now here's Jackson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Leonard. Over Stockton. And it falls over the rim and in. One thing that stands out over the course of Leonard's career is how efficient and effective he has been on the offensive end. Pass to Malone. Back to Stockton. Pulls it up. He squares up and John sinks Stockton. it. Stockton's got five now. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just a great ball movement. Outside Leonard. Here's Ibaka. That's basket number two with his third shot off to a fast two for three. And on the glass so far, it hadn't even been close. George against Jordan to the middle. And there's Carl Malone on the assist from Michael Jordan. Malone's got his second bucket of the game to go. And the defense looks soft early on. They've got to sum it up. A little more sense of urgency. And the foul called on ABC. That's his first foul. And the Clippers making a change here. Hartenstein's checked in. Into the lineup for your Clippers. How about that strong defensive performance for this half's mobile one block? Yeah, quick thinking pays off big. What a block. On defense, the visitors. George with the ball. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Robinson with the block. And there you see why Robinson is, is the anchor of this defense. Massive wingspan easily allowing him to turn away shots. Now here's Leonard following the miss by Michael Jordan. What a brutal night for this guy. And it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. And Malone gets double teamed. Stocked in from outside. Knocks down the three ball. Stockton's got his third bucket of the night. Man, he's having quite the quarter, converting at a really high percentage. And the Clippers call time here. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate. 
with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all making sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Batum. He's checked in for the Clippers. Man comes in for Kawhi Leonard. Clippers with the ball. It's a 14-point game. George looking around. To the inside. Here's Batum. That one no good. Malone with some nice tea. And a guy like Nick Batum all but written off. He went through a rebirth after joining the successful Clippers. Right, you think about Nick Batum, he had to deal with so many injuries. You forget how complete a player he is when healthy. He showed just how important he can be for an elite team. And on an open look like that, he's very gifted at making the weak coverage pay. Three-pointer, Bird. They get it again. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And boy, are they attacking the paint. And this is his first trip to the line tonight in Los Angeles with some changes. Luke Kennard comes in for George. And Eric Bledsoe subbed in for Reggie Jackson. Malone, a remarkable power forward. His footwork, incredible. And that jump shot is wet. They've been struggling here on offense. Yeah, a bit of a dry spell for sure. There's the pass to man. Here's Hartenstein. Batum with the ball. Pocket six. And that time, also a missed shot. Boy, nine times out of ten, that's going in. I'm sure he surprised himself with the miss. Kennard against Malone. Hey, yo, right here, baby. Here's Mann. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Kennard kicks to Batum. Knocks it loose. Pippen with the steal. Here's the break. Releases. And good. Got the friendly bounce off the right side of the rim. Oh, this is the kind of start they were hoping for. Now here's Bledsoe. Some solid defense from Robinson. And he thought he had a clear path to the hoop, but the defense didn't give up on that play and cut him off. Drexler passes to Malone. And Malone gets double teamed. And to get open is Robinson. Got him with the bump fake, but couldn't finish. And the jam by Carl Malone. And what a way to start this game, dominating at both ends of the floor and give them credit for approaching this game with the right energy and intensity this team has attacked every chance they've gotten now here's Kennard to the paint a nice shot by Hartenstein well the coach loves this kind of ball movement anytime you create something inside the free throw line you know it's a good look here's Pippen and they recover it a second chance effort. Homo. It's blocked. And so out of bounds out it goes. Bounds. They'll keep possession. Away team ball. Substitution for the away team. Patrick Ewing. Christian Leitner. Uh -oh. 
Drexler outside. Just four to shoot. Pulls up. Bloodsoe with the rebound. And so it's Bloodsoe with it, bringing it up for the Clippers. Passes to Hartenstein. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal foul. I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Isaiah Hartenstein. Two shots. Shooting two. And that one misses. That one misses. They have been really controlling this one. You never want to be complacent on the floor. That's when you lose momentum. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. Here is Bloodson after the made shot from Scotty Pippen. Johnson with the block. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Johnson. Just five to shoot. Two minutes remaining in the Get on the pass to man. And he sinks that one in the back of the rim on the way in. Well, nine times out of ten, that probably is a miss, but somehow he finds a way. Drexler against Kennard. Drexler, no good. Clippers trail by 21. And here's Bledsoe. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Johnson with the block. Drexler outside. Out of hand on it. Here's Mann. Pass to Hartenstein. Clippers moving the ball around. Down low. And it's denied. And he recovers it. Boy, they can't cut into this lead with him going stone cold and only so much time to turn it around. Stolen by Bloodsoe. Pass to Kennard. Forty-one seconds left to play in the first quarter. Excellent defense there from Ewing. Drexler outside. Back to Ewing. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. And how about the muscle inside from Ewing? Easily getting to wherever he wants to on that low block. Bledsoe against Ewing. Johnson with the block. To the middle. That falls. Nice Magic speed that time from Scotty Pippen. That's their third straight make off an assist. Blunso taking his time here. Three-pointer. Sinks the triple. And when Blunso can make green shots, it sets up the rest of his offense. And the buzzer sounds to end the first, and we've got a blowout underway here. Delivering the blowout. And we'll get things started in the second quarter when we return. Thank you. 
And welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And looking at what we've seen so far, guys, from the visiting team, what do you think? I love their effort. Contesting shots, trying to intimidate here early on. Well, as a shooter, when the ball is sent back in your direction enough times, it can certainly have an impact on your mind. We've got Johnson. Leitner out there with Pippen. Then it's Mullen. And it's Ewing in at the center position. Six to shoot. And there's Johnson. That's good. On the assist by Ewing. Johnson's got his second bucket of the night. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. Here's Bledsoe, and he uses the glass on the lane. Well, Eric Bledsoe, one of those guys that is so difficult to contain in the dribble drive situation. And it's sent back by Bledsoe. And it's out of bounds. They say last touch by Bledsoe. For the Clippers, Marcus Morris has checked in for Batum. And it's Leonard in for Kanawha. Johnson against Bledsoe. Johnson kicks to Mullen. And the pass to Leitner. And here's Ewing. And the foul, foul called on Marcus Leitner. Morris. Marcus That's Morris his first Leitner. foul. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And around a minute gone here in the second quarter. Knocked away. Six on the shot clock. Here's Johnson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Johnson's got four this quarter. And when you have this kind of size as a point guard, what a tremendous advantage. Magic can really match up with all five positions. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Kawhi Leonard keeps it simple. He says, I'm trying to be the best player I can be. I'm happy with what I've done in my career, and I'm just going to keep on from there. It's not about being famous. It's about playing basketball and having fun on the floor. Well, he is famous, Kevin, and he remains focused on the court. Agreed, David. It has served him well. Thank you. Here's Bledsoe. Patrick Ewing picking up that last basket. Quarter number two. We're about two minutes in. He's guarded by Johnson. And they're on the break. Score the basket. His fourth. He's only missed one of his five shots tonight. Johnson's gone four of five, shooting from the field. And here's Leonard from three. Gets the three point of the fall. Leonard's got five points so far. I don't think there's anything Leonard can't do on the basketball court. He can score inside, the mid-range, long range. He'll hurt you from absolutely anywhere. Now here's Johnson. He's got eight. Back to Ewing. Shot clock at six. Outside Mullen. The shot's good on the assist Chris by Mullen. Pippen. And this is where Mullen is most dangerous. A consistent three-point shooter with textbook form. Here's Leonard. Again, the Clippers. This guy can do so much for you on the offensive end, and that is why his number gets called time and time again. Johnson against Bloodsoe. Here's Ewing, and the rejection by Ibaka. Boy, great extension from Ibaka. His length always a factor. No good from Bloodsoe. Yeah, and they've shown effort and aggression in the paint, really, right from the tip. Their rebounding edge right now, massive. Here's Ewing. Goes up again, and it's good on the way in. He has six. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Bloodsoe kicks to Leonard, pass to Ibaka. It's a nice passing here by Los Angeles. Outside Leonard. 
and Kawhi Leonard with the slam. Now, almost effortless there from Kawhi Leonard. The reach and leaping ability. Look out. Time out, time out. The and there was a slight panic in L.A. Sorry. when Kawhi opted out of his deal. It quickly went away as Kawhi signed a new one with the Clippers. All right. The Clippers can build a new one. Kawhi is in it for the long haul. Always nice to know you have a star that you can win with. Angeles. Jackson comes in for Eric Bledsoe. Here is Stockton. Eight points for him. Outside Robinson. It's hauled in by Los Angeles. To the inside. Here's Leonard. That one wide left. Well, that's just inconsistency from him, and it's happened all night, and it hasn't helped their cause. And it's blocked by Ibaka. And the foul called on ABC. That'll be his second foul First of the game. Yeah, but man, that's it's close, but you know, didn't get on balance quick enough. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. George against Jordan. With his first shot attempt, and he nails the jump. Well, you can tell that Mr. Morris doesn't lack for confidence. This guy is ready to shoot as soon as it touches his hands. Leonard against Jordan. Over Leonard, and it's Jordan. That time on the assist by Robinson. Yeah, and when we think about the excitement that Jordan brings to the game, but but what about the offensive fundamentals? The, the, the man is a perfectionist. Now here's Jackson. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. And, and he saw the play develop, but the pass just wasn't there. It was a really good thought for sure, David but the Robinson. lob has got to be the better than that. John the assist Stockton. totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Stockton against Jackson. Outside, George. Back to Jackson. Trying to get open is Ibaka. Rejected by Stockton. Bird against George. Now here's Stockton. Defense right on him. Outside Jordan. It's Robinson, top of the key. Three on the clock. Three-pointer from Stockton. Serge Ibaka with the rebound. Ibaka's got four rebounds now tonight. Leonard dishes to George. They get a hand on it. Jordan with the rebound. Pass to Stockton. Back to Jordan. Inside. Robinson, that's good. Robinson's got four points in the quarter. And that bucket adds to what has been a big difference in points in the paint between the two teams. Jackson passes to Leonard. Bird covering. Back to Leonard.
fast break. Here we go. Here's Stockton, and it's sent back by George. No good from Jordan. And here's Los Angeles. Hunter finds George. Outside Jackson. And here's the fast break. Jordan leading the way. And they call the foul, so a chance at the line for one more coming up. That's his first Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Hartenstein's checked in for Abaka. Batum comes in for Marcus Morris. And it's Luke Kennard in for Leonard. Jordan no good on the free throw. And the defining trait of the greatest of superstars, Jordan makes the players around him better. Mentally, in terms of effort, and in terms of their performance. Now, here is George. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Five on the clock. Jackson up top. Over Stockton. And he gets it back. George up top. He's covered by Malone. It's good. You have got to have the right focus and the right reads in the pick and roll. And Paul George making all the right decisions right now, slicing up the defense. Drexler passes to Stockton. Batum against Bird. Here's Jordan. That shot, no good. And the Clippers will come the other way. Now, Kennard kicks to Jackson. Outside, George. It's good, the assist this time from Jackson. George has got five points now this quarter. And they are absolutely stroking it from beyond the arc. On the wing, Burr. And they come right back with their own three-pointer. Three points. They've been outstanding from beyond the arc this quarter. Their percentage has been climbing steadily. Knock loose. Pushing it up. Stockton. Good. Stockton. Stockton's got 10. Quick job of getting up the floor and creating early offense. You don't give the defense any chance to set up. Sometimes you just love an easy look. Now, here's George. Five points in the game, and the shot goes down. Boy, has he picked it up since the start of the second. His shot's now starting to fall. Now, here's Bird. T right on him. To the paint. Here's Malone. Bristle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. This trip is his second to the free throw line in this one. Shooting one. Two minutes running. And here's George. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Two minutes. Takes the three. Rebounded by Malone. Malone's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. Stockton passes to Bird. Back to Stockton. Over Jackson. And there's Stockton. That's good on the assist by Bird. Larry Bird. Bird's got his fifth assist in this one. Stockton's gone five of nine shooting from the floor. This is what dominating the glass looks like. He just cannot be contained. Wow, what a performance. And he's not just winning with physical ability. He's winning with anticipation. Now here's Stockton. After the miss from Reggie Jackson. Lock at six. Stockton, no good. George against Stockton. And George kicks to Kennard. 
They shoot again. And the layup good by Batum. What energy on the offensive boards. The defense can't match the effort, and they paid the price. Drexler outside. And Jordan has it in the corner. Over Kanar. Jordan's shot is off. Well, they have the advantage, but you still feel like this guy needs to find a way to get himself going. Here's Jackson. Finally gets one to fall. He's now one for five with his first make. And with the defender draped all over him, Jackson has that strength to fight through the contact. Six second difference between the shot and game clock. Stockton's shot is off. This has not been a good period for this guy. Out of sync, not letting the game come to him. He's got to settle down and make shots. Boy, it's been a struggle in this quarter, and the team needs more from him. There's no doubt. The 15-footer, it's tipped, and he gets it back. Great play by Bird to set it up. Stockton's got 15 points. Coming off a big game, his confidence couldn't be higher, and Coach knows it. Well, the best players, to me, deliver night after night after night. So as long as he's hot, keep riding it. A dominating first half of basketball, and so far, hasn't been close. Delivering the blowout. And we'll be back for the second half following the break. Keep it right here on 2K Sports. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Checking out the visiting team. Kenny, what's your viewpoint? Well, they were completely in rhythm shooting the basketball. Just watching the flow of their offense, everything clicked into play. Fantastic shot selection. They took advantage of everything the defense gave them. Shaq, what was your takeaway on the Clippers? Well, they're not finding good shots. And that starts with their ball. Move. Too much hero basketball. They need to sharpen up the attack. More motion. Quick cuts. Get the ball inside. There's no way they're coming back with that type of play. Well, we've got a second half of basketball for you. We think it's going to be pretty good. A big comeback, though, is needed for this game to be competitive, and it probably has to happen quickly. John Stockton really has his fingerprints all over this one. Yeah, he's just been raining down on them from deep here. Talk about dialed in. Well, the break certainly didn't have a cooling effect on him at all. He's in a great rhythm, looking comfortable and confident. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. And now let's check out the lineups courtesy of Gatorade all fueled up and ready to go for the second half of basketball. And the Clippers, Larry looking Burke. at who they've got, Three the guard spots filled by Jackson and George. Morris at four with Ibaka at the five. And it's Leonard in at the three, the small four. And here's Leonard following Larry Bird's three. Makes it off the glass. Leonard's got 11 points. They are just killing him on the interior. Malone in the high post. Three-pointer from Stockton. The offensive rebound. Malone, good. Carl Malone. Second chance points always hurt. Just not enough effort to block out. No doubt those extra possessions can really add up against you when you do not take care of the defensive glass. Here's Leonard after the made shot from Carl Malone. And he's easily been their best rebounder tonight. He's competed for every missed shot. Feels like he's quicker to the basketball than anyone else out there. And let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. Well, mid-range jumpers are something of a lost art these days. But they're still practiced by superstars like Kawhi Leonard. Coach Ty Lu said, why not work on the shots that teams are giving up? Down the stretch, mid-range shots win games. Playoffs, too. If you shoot it at a high clip, it's just as good as a three for me. Guys? And they do shoot it at a good clip, and they rely on it quite a bit. David, thank you. And here's Stockton. 
after Reggie Jackson was able to get the triple. Jordan inside, defended by George. No good from Jordan. And so it's Jackson who brings it up for the Los Angeles Clippers. To the middle. Some solid defense from Robinson. Outside Jordan. He kicks it to Bird. Now here is Robinson. He's guarded closely. Goes up the baseline. Goes back up. And he lays it up and David in. Robinson. Robinson's got 10 points. You're fighting to keep the possession alive. Something this guy does so well. Leonard against Bird. Looking to get it going. In deep. Leonard drops it in. Leonard's got four points this quarter. Kawhi Leonard's length lets him play bigger than his size. Pass to Robinson. Jordan inside. Defended by George. Jordan's shot is off. Jordan's gone just 3 of 10 shooting from the field. Jackson dishes to George. To the inside. And stolen by Jordan. Inside. Here's Malone. Kawhi Leonard comes up with the rebound. Here's George. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. That one on Malone. And Doris, we know that Paul George has always been a solid passer, but his assist numbers have been trending up. Yeah, he's been willing of late to take on more playmaking responsibilities. The skill set was there. It's just early in his career, they needed him to be the lead scorer. Now you're talking about a guy you've got to game plan against as a scorer and as a passer. And he makes the first. And, and we all know what George brings offensively. But it's his ability as a defender that stands out. Great instincts to make plays on that end of the floor. Catching up on the changes for the Clippers. Mann comes in for Leonard. And Eric Bledsoe is subbed in for Jackson. And George drops them both. And with Paul George and his defense, Greg, you almost forget how great of an impact it makes. He just kind of flies under the radar with his defensive play. I mean, this guy could be considered for the defensive player of the year almost every year. One of the more disruptive forces on that end of the floor. What's up with him? Five points in the game. And it's in there. Bledsoe's got seven. Boy, what creativity with the ball in his hands. Bledsoe will wear you out in the pick and roll. Johnson with the bounce pass. Bledsoe comes over to help. And a bit of a battle here for the ball. The official signals a jump ball here. We have got to see that sensational mobile one block again. And this is how you protect and grow a lead by making a huge effort on that end of the floor. Ewing the pass to Johnson. Six to shoot. Takes a three. The Clippers grab the miss. Bach has got his eighth rebound here tonight. Out to the right wing. Here's Mann, guarded by Robinson. Pippen with the steal. Going inside. And he converts the layup. Six points for him. Yeah, and Pippen using those long arms inside to get shots off. Feels like no one can guard him down low. Robinson against George. Can't hit from 12. 
George has gone three for eight tonight from the field. Pippen for three. They get it back. Ewing. That shot missing. And here are the Clippers. Here's George. And he drives in. And it's Johnson with the rebound. George has gone three of nine tonight from the field. 33%. And that one drops. And the insane peripheral vision there. And if anyone's open, even for an instant, Magic's going to find you. Outside, George. And Ewing sends it back. Here's the break. Up top, Pippen. Dishes to Johnson. It's tipped. It's stolen by Ibaka. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively, for sure. Here's Butzel, and a lot of contact on that one, so he'll Magic shoot two here. Johnson. Magic Johnson Magic picks one up. The one thing we never questioned was the talent of Eric Bledsoe. What you love about what he has done now, he's shooting the ball better. He's become a more efficient player. That one is off for the Clippers. Batum comes in for Marcus Morris. And it's Luke Kennard in for George. Good on the second free throw. Here's Johnson. Eight points for him. Down low. Here's Mullen. And there's a nice one-handed slam. Now flying high and throwing it down with the one hand. Woo, one of his favorite moves right there, guys. Now here's Kanar. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. Here's Bledsoe. And Ewing with the block. Outside Pippen. The dish to Mullen. The second effort. No good on that one. The Clippers go the other way with it. To the middle. Stolen by Pippen. To the paint. Here's Leitner. Count the bucket. Coming off a perfectly placed assist. And you gotta like how Mullen looks for his open teammates. Always trying to make guys better. Bledso dishes to Ibaka. It's stolen by Johnson. Goes straight to the defender for the dunk. Draws the foul. He'll go to the line. His third personal it's on Nicholas Batum. Impossible to stop the putback when he's got that kind of position. Agreed, Brain. Let him get his hands on it inside and finish it off. How about the activity level, the effort level? This team right now feeding off his energy. Hartenstein, he's checked in for the Clippers. One shot. That's good from Ewing. Guys, we've seen a lot of turnovers in this one. Yeah, focus, focus, focus. Just make the simple play. Here's Hartenstein. What's the right side? Five to shoot. Here's Mann. Over Ewing. Mann can hit. It's all about the defense right there. Without that level of activity, he probably scores it. And the layup's good off the glass. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Bledsoe against Johnson. 
Now here's Bledsoe. He's got eight, and he gets the button. Crossing up the defense here, playing Bledsoe to attack the rim. He just floats one over the top. And here's Drexler. Trying to get open at Johnson, and Drexler throws it down hard. Now, I'll bet even they didn't think the pick would work that well. No, no, no. And they get the major league dunk out of it, too. And my question is, where was the help? Someone rotate over and challenge. And Ewing sends it back. Clyde Drexler on the wing. Takes the 13-footer. And with the rebound. I'll tell you, his shot is just lost right now. There's just no consistency. Amazing that they're still up in this basketball game. Now here's Bledsoe. He's got 10. And the officials call him for a three-second violation. And to make that mistake at this time is tough to come back from. These are the kinds of plays that can be game changers, that can make you hang your head. And the Clippers making a change here. Jackson's checked in. Here's Drexler. And he's going up for the alley-oop. It's deflected. Here's Jackson. The pass to Hartenstein. Here's Mann, guarded by Pippen. Passes it to Kennard. Los Angeles needs to get off a shot here. Batum trying to break loose. That one goes. Count it. Hartenstein's got his second bucket tonight. 151 left in the third quarter. Here's Ewing. And good coming off the assist by Magic Johnson. Johnson's got his fifth assist in this one. Ewing's gone a nice five of eight shooting from the floor. Jackson finds Batum. Here's Hartenstein. And Ewing sends it back. Johnson, the pass to Leitner. And he comes up with the deuce. Leitner's got six here in this quarter. Those defenders just looked a little bit gassed. I mean, they're getting pushed around on that low block. Kennard on the wing. And the foul oh, called on ABC. Patrick, That's foul number two for him. Kawhi Leonard is checked in for Terrence Mann. Coming onto the floor for the away team. Here's Jackson. Five points in the game. Pass to Kennard. Shot clock at six. No good that time. Excellent D from Stockton. And out of bounds as the Clippers gain possession. Clippers ball. Carl Malone checked in for Leighton. Carl Malone. And here is Los Angeles now. Now Leonard. He's got 13. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's his second you can see foul. the kind of savvy Fourth Kawhi Leonard foul. plays with. This guy makes the defense commit the and gets himself to the foul line. Kawhi First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. Well, you think back to draft day in 2011. It was quiet then. It became loud as his career went on. But the Spurs get the draft rights to Kawhi Leonard on that day for George Hill. Incredible.
Yeah, Leonard hits them both. And they came out of the locker room after halftime with a much more physical approach than what we saw in that first half. Now here's Drexel. Stockton outside. Pass to Bird. Inside, Malone. And the jam by Whoa. Carl Malone. Yeah, they're rolling right now. That lead continues to grow. And one of the things that's helped that is they're getting it done on both ends. Terrific focus on offense, and they're locked in defensively. Outside Jackson. Drives to the hoop. And that's going to do it. Some good defense down the stretch to end the quarter. And as we conclude the third quarter, pretty much a blowout. It's been a one-sided affair. Delivering the blowout. We're going to step aside for just a second, but join us right back here for the start of the fourth quarter next. And how about a look now at our assist of the game brought to you by State Farm. And I'm glad this was the pick because I love this pass. Such a great dish. That's what I call court vision. Well, making the game easy for your teammates. All about putting them in a position to score. That's pretty. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may be already out of hand. Malone is out there with Bird. Then it's Porter. Then it's Stockton, and it's Barrett at the shooting guard position. There's Winslow. And it's Malone with the rebound. Malone's got rebound number 15 here tonight. He goes up again. He takes it up and lays it in. Malone's got 20. That's the 10th straight point they've given up in the paint. Preston passes to Winslow. There's the pass to Preston. The three-pointer, no good. Outside, Porter. With the drive. Can't connect from short range. A three from Leonard. Good and the nice assist from Winslow. Leonard's got nine points now in just the second half. Well, that's his second three of the game. One in the first half, one here. Stockton passes to Malone. To the inside, Bird. Up and in on the Larry way. Bird. Well, there's an aggressive mentality in play. Working close, find a way to score. Winslow against Porter. Winslow, the pass to Hartenstein. Another shot, and he sinks the layup. Good job attacking. Those restricted area shots are what every NBA team is looking for. Stockton with it. Now guarded by Winslow. Stockton against Winslow. Will not go. This is off the front eye. Leonard against Porter. Leonard inside. Ice D from Porter. Here's Barrett. He takes it in. RJ this guy Barrett. can finish with either hand. What a finish from R.J. Barrett. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Hartenstein passes to Kennard. Here's Preston. Six on the shot clock. Here's Hartenstein. He's covered by Stockton. And this August, the Summer League was back in Las Vegas, Greg. And that's where you're from. That's where you played. How pleased are you to see your hometown become a mecca for the game in the offseason? Oh, it is such John a proud moment for me, born and raised here, growing up here. And, and quite honestly, I'm just thrilled that we have Summer League again. After what we've gone through, partner, it is just a breath of fresh air to get back to focusing on the little things. Stolen by Winslow. Passes it to Kennard. Here's Preston. 
kicks to Winslow. Nice D from Porter. Boy, that's the kind of look this offense is designed to create. That's just a tough miss. Malone is just a Stockton. Let's a floater go. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. He'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. A different look for the Clippers. Marcus Morris is checked in for Kawhi Leonard. And it's Johnson in for Luke Kennard. One shot. Stockton, just a remarkable point guard. Lights out shooter and an even better distributor. They could use a big shot here to get this offense going. Too many empty possessions right now. They need a basket. Misses off the right iron. To the middle. Here's Malone. Does not score. Only the fourth fail in 13 tries. Here's Preston. To halt the run. Malone with the block. Now, here's Barrett. Defense right on him. Outside for Stockton. He lobs it up, and the jam by Carl Malone. Yeah, you, you got to love the recognition there. Stockton just so unselfish, always looking to find the open man. Pass to Preston. Deflects the pass. And it's Malone with the rebound. Malone's got his 20th rebound here tonight. Saw that coming. So it's the Clippers now. Pass to Johnson. Here's Hartenstein. He's covered by Malone. And there's the pass to Preston. Porter against Johnson. Over Porter. Porter with a block. And you know, as he learns the game at this level, he's going to block more shots. Porter has the length and the ability to move his feet. So it's the visitors now. They've only given up five points here in the fourth quarter. Here's Stockton. Malone trying to break free. They get it back. They've been looking out of sorts in the last few possessions. And this is when you need to be patient. Find a high percentage shot and have some floor balance. Back to Johnson. Guarded by Porter. Porter pulls it in. Barrett against Johnson. And it's Barrett penetrating. And he makes that one. R.J. Barrett. Barrett's got four points in the quarter. Well, R.J. Barrett, how about the ability to focus with a defender right in his grill? How about that finish? Woo. Here's Preston. Two free throws oh, coming up, and they call the shooting foul. Doris, you look at Marcus Morris, a very solid first three and D type of forward. That's exactly right, because think about it. Morris, early in his career, there was a reluctance to shoot the range shot. He was more mid-range guy. But credit him for putting in the work. Now Marcus is a deadly three-point shooter, and he brings a size and physicality on the defensive end. First one falls for him. Oh. 
good on both. You know, there's a toughness and an energy about Marcus Morris that elevates any team he plays for. This guy is an incredible teammate. Now, here is Mullen. Porter kicks to Mullen. Passes it to Ewing. Inside. And Barrett the bucket on the assist by Ewing. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. Barrett's gone three for four here from the field. To the paint. Here's Hartenstein. Oh, and he pucks it off the glass. Wow. Pass to Barrett. Porter looking it over. Rebound by the Clippers. Winslow's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. It's deflected. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. LA ball. Nicholas Batum has checked in for the Clippers. Clippers. Nicholas Batum. Preston passes to Hartenstein. Trying to break that ice cold streak. And is Leitner with the rebound. Leitner's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. I'll tell you, a rough quarter for him, and that puts so much pressure on the guys around him. No, oh, big finish. Emphatic. He hangs on the rim just for good measure. Wow. Preston passes to Johnson. And Greg, you faced some exceptional point guards during your time in the league. But who was the toughest matchup for you when you played? Oh, man. You know, John Stockton was always one of the most difficult. But in a weird way, not because I worried about him scoring on me. It was because I had to defend his ability to make people better. And, and that was always a challenge. Don't forget about the great Penny Hardaway. I mean, at 6'8", oh, that okay. was a nightmare to deal with. And my personal all-time favorite, Isaiah personal Thomas. Time who Second team was by. as good as anybody's ever been at, at that league guard position. Justice Winslow taking two shots. Two shots. And he makes the first. He's perfect from the line this time. Mullen with the ball. Out to the wing. Here's Ewing. It's hauled in by the Clippers. On the wing, Johnson. Barrett covering. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That's his first personal It's on R.J. Barrett. Third team foul. And last season, All-Stars Greg missing 19% of their available games. With the shortened off-seasons, are you concerned about the toll it takes? You are, but this off-season may be not as painfully short as the last one. And in these tough times, some sacrifices are made, no doubt. Health, perhaps, one of the biggest. And that one falls for Johnson. And both free throws, good for Johnson. Now, here is Mullen. Pass to Ewing. A fader. It's rebounded by Hartenstein. Hartenstein's got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Here's Preston. 
Second shot opportunity. Again with the block. Uh, a defensive stalwart Remains so far. That's six blocks. Greg protecting the rim. Love the hustle. On defense, the visitors. Boy, what a nightmare quarter for this guy. He's playing right into the hands of the defense at this point. This is a quarter he'd rather forget. This guy just can't seem to get the lid off of that bucket. Not a piece of it. They retain possession. And good that time. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. Preston passes to Johnson. And here's Winslow. On the left block, it's hauled in by Ewing. Ewing's got double-digit rebounds now in the game. And the whistle blows on the backcourt violation. He went over and back. Here's Preston. Driving to the basket. And it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. Porter with the steal. Two minutes remaining in the game. Two minutes. 157 left here in the fourth quarter. Here's Mullen. Preston with the rebound. Now the Clippers with it. The pass to Hartenstein. Kicks it out to Johnson. Puts up a three. Buries the long range jumper. Three point basket beyond. 136 left in the fourth quarter. Oh, Barrett. There's the drive, and it's good for two. RJ Barrett. Barrett's got 10 points now just in this quarter. Good concentration from the man out of Toronto, Ontario, RJ Barrett. Go ahead with the contact finish. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Mullen for three, and he's There's good on the three ball. This is the court awareness that gives you great hope for R.J. Barrett. He's a scorer, but if he can complement that with passing, look out, folks. Here's Preston, and it's going to be out of bounds. The Clippers will retain possession. L.A. Ball. Left side, Batum. Winslow with it. Shot clock at five. He blocks it again. And that's nine blocks. You know he's going to be coming hard for that tenth, too. Seconds left to play here in the fourth. The ball goes to the away team. Forty-three seconds left in the fourth quarter. Now here's Barrett. Left side Mullen. Back to Barrett. Three pointer. Hands it from downtown. And once they smell blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Now here's Winslow. They need this. It's hauled in by Ewing. 
Johnson against Barrett. And so the road team gets the W in this one. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel <laughs> at home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. And that about wraps it up for Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific crew. This is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.